Hey guys, I took a poll on the community tab and I asked you guys if you would rather me create a video on how to find your signature style or how stylish women build a wardrobe. Both topics were very requested. I do plan to cover both topics in two separate videos. In this video, I decided to cover the topic, how stylish women build a wardrobe. I'm on a journey to create my own dream wardrobe, and I wanted to share with you how I am starting this process. I know so many of you are wanting to create your own dream closet too. I could go into so much detail in this video, but I want to keep things as simple and basic as possible. But based off my research and my personal thoughts, your favorite fashion fashionable and stylish women use three main points to create their wardrobes. I will have all the information and resources that I use to create this video in the description box in case you were wondering where I got some of my information. So this video is intended to be an overview of the topic. I do plan on getting into more detail in future videos. So if you are new here and you aren't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I will upload every Monday and Friday and I love uploading makeup and fashion content like this. The most beautiful wardrobes that you see on Pinterest, on YouTube, on social media, those wardrobes take time. They do not happen overnight. You aren't going to get all of your clothing pieces that you've ever dreamed of in one shopping trip. It is going to be a really slow process. So this brings me to my first point. Stylish women focus on the basics first. So I'm actually on this first step right now. I am still looking for the perfect basics, the perfect neutrals to go into my own closet. It is a challenge to find neutrals and basics that are gonna be perfect for your body, for your shape, and still have the quality and price point that you can afford. I do prefer to spend more money on the basics just because I know I'm gonna wear them more. And statements are the signature expression of my style. So now we are on to my second point. Stylish women find what flatters their own body shape. So I wanted to give you guys a few things that you could use to kind of tackle this topic because it is a very tricky topic and it's because all of us are unique and have our own shape. There are categories for our body shapes, but sometimes we don't fit into those categories. So I wanted to give you guys a pliable, useful tool that you guys could use to find out what is going to flatter your body shape. So I have the body equation. This is from a blog post, which I will link down below. The body equation is the body shape plus body variations plus body proportions equals your figure flattering guidelines. Body shape would be your front view of your shoulders, your waist, and your hips. Body variations would be where your curves are. So the curves are where you could decide to accentuate or disguise. And then body proportions would be something like if you have longer legs, a shorter waist, do you look good in cropped sweaters or high-waisted jeans? This equation is just a suggestion to help you get started in the right direction and finding what flatters your body shape. If you're not sure where to look or where to begin, it's a good way to start. And I've made this mistake so many times, but you do want to purchase clothes that are flattering on you and not just because they look flattering on somebody else. So on top of this body equation, I wanted to share with you guys a few of the things that I personally have been doing to find what works on my body shape. The first thing I could ever suggest to you guys is try before you buy. This is such a simple thing to do, but I cannot tell you how many times I have just looked at the item and been like, oh, I think it'll look good. Take it away and it doesn't fit. One of my favorite things to do is to go into those super expensive pricey stores and try on clothes. That has definitely been a way I've been finding things that really do look good on me and work for my body shape. Another suggestion is try clothing subscriptions. I have been trying Stitch Fix out and Stitch Fix has probably been one of the best ways that I've been learning to find my style. 
but it definitely is a more pricey option. Just by having another person's and professional's input on your style and what flatters you is a really great way to go. I know Stitch Fix is so expensive and sometimes their price ranges are just through the roof. Amazon Prime Wardrobe is a really great way to go too because you can put all these clothes into your box and try them all on before you buy. Rental subscriptions is another really great way to go too. Usually you get a really good discount if you do decide to keep one of the rental pieces. So Haberdash and Newly are two really great rental companies. The last biggest thing that I have been using to create my dream wardrobe and just to get inspired has been following my favorite boutiques on Instagram and Pinterest. I get a lot of ideas from looking at online boutiques and just how they style stuff, but also through Pinterest, I feel like that's a given. That's probably the place that I get the most inspired and even finding style role models that are maybe the same size as me and looking at what type of clothing they're using. And that's also been another really great way that I have been able to find what flatters my body shape. If you guys have any suggestions on things that you do to find what flatters your body shape, definitely leave them in the comments below. And this brings me to my third and last point, which is stylish women express their personality in style choices, patterns, and color. You might wonder how stylish women always seem to have a certain pattern or style that defines their personality. Finding what expresses your personality and who you are in your clothing is definitely a huge part of your wardrobe. And this is another topic I plan to go into depth because usually this revolves around statement pieces, but not all the time. There are so many different ways to find the patterns and styles and trends that you will love, but it is one of those things that does just take time. I really liked the research and ideas done by a blog post by Midlife Boulevard. On this blog post was the suggestion to create levels that match your lifestyle. So I will have this blog post in the description box if you want to read up on it a little bit more. So I came up with four levels that fit into my own unique lifestyle. Level one for me would be formal and special occasions. So things like fashion events or maybe like YouTube events, that would be a level one for me. A level two for me would be something like a date night or a girls night out. A level three for me would be work, so more professional looking outfits. Level four would definitely be casual. So those are the four levels that kind of fit my personal lifestyle. Your wardrobe revolves around your lifestyle. So I think just splitting up your wardrobe into levels is a really great way to just simplify everything and figure out where you want to spend your money. So after I started using these levels, I came up with a few outfits that I felt were a perfect fit for my wardrobe. So I'm just going to give you some examples of things that I've found. I think sum up my style perfectly. It definitely helps that I used these levels to help narrow it down. So just to wrap things up, a few things that you can do to create your own dream wardrobe. Start by focusing on the core of your closet, which is gonna be your basics and neutrals. And then gradually add the statements and the fun colors. Sometimes it's just best to start very simple and add the detail as you go. Try the body equation if you need some help getting started in the right direction and start trying on clothes. I never would have ever tried on crop tops or high-waisted jeans if it hadn't been for me getting out of my comfort zone just a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And let me know if this helped you start your own journey to creating your wardrobe by liking and commenting on this video. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.